and welcome back. It is the daytime. It's still light outside. I have so many fish to unbox, it's not funny. Um, but we have in those boxes there, there's a box there. Um, what have we got? We've got long fin rosy barbs, we have albino rosy barbs, we have royal whip tails. Um, lots of fish we haven't had for like six or eight months. So let's see what exciting fishes we have. And we have the box of fish. So only one box from this wholesaler, but there's about six or seven other boxes, or the heat thingy. Um, yep, six or seven other boxes turning up late tonight. So there are lots of fish, so expect a few different videos. Um, what do we got? They are long fin cherry barbs. They are really nice fish. So they will go bright red, as you can see with one of the ones on the screen from our display tank. So yeah, finally got them back in stock. Haven't had these for like about six months or so. Very, very cool fish. And we have some Maculata Raspora, so little dwarf Raspora. I forgot I ordered those, but they are tiny little fish. So small, they don't even really harass shrimp. They're gonna eat baby shrimp, but most other shrimp, they're gonna be fine. What else have we got? Oh, they are nice. They are albino cherry barbs, so they go bright pink. Um, really hard to see in the bag, obviously, because of the blue dye they put in the bags. Um, but yeah, very cool fish. Looks like one's got a funny tail there, but the rest of them, hopefully, are all okay. We will check them out once we get them acclimatized. We have, oh, I see a, what have we got in there? Oh, there's a couple of blue really shrimp and lots of blue neocaridina. So lots of blue shrimp. Can't focus in the bag, but there are some very cool shrimp in there. Uh, we have, Royal Whiptail Catfish, another awesome, awesome catfish we haven't had for a while. Um, so Royal Whiptail Cats are back in stock as well. Uh, hatchet fish, we have some hatchet fish. Looks like ooh, a couple aren't great, so may not have these for sale. We just have to check how all the water is in the bag, but it does look murky. So it could be a bit of ammonia poisoning going on in there. So not for sale for them for a little bit. Um, what have we got? Long fin. Wow, that one's got a huge tail. Um, so long fin bronze Corydoras. Look at the tail on that. Um, they are awesome, awesome catfish. And I'm pretty sure there is some long fin albino somewhere. There we go. Long fin albino Corydoras. So these are the albino peppered Corydoras. So different than the bronze, obviously, but still long fin and awesome. Uh, what else have we got? We have some peacock gudgeons. So, there is one on the screen. That's our last one we've got in our display tank. Well, it's not display tank, it's for sale tank. Um, but we have more in stock now. So a whole lot of those in that bag. And the box is gone. It's magic. It's the magic of YouTube. Um, now we're gonna go and visit all the fish in the tanks. Now they've been acclimatized and yeah, you can see what they look like. Let's go to the new fish. How bright are they? That is the actual color of them. Um, so these are the albino cherry barbs. They are super peaceful fish. Wow, that one's filled with eggs as well in the middle. There she is. Um, males and females are super bright. Obviously the males are a little bit brighter than the girls. Um, but yeah, wow. Um, I really need to take some of these guys home and girls. Look at them. They are so cool. They are super, super peaceful community fish. Um, you can keep them with neon tetras, all that sort of stuff. They grow about the size of a neon, so about oh, two and a half centimeters. But how lovely are they? Um, they are available now if you're watching this video. Um, if you're watching this video in the past, <laughs> I may have some more again. So just comment down below and I can tell you if I've got any in stock, but they are lovely. Um, in the same tank, we have these guys, which are the Royal Whiptail Catfish. Again, a super, super cool fish. Um, they get quite big, about 20, 25 centimeters, but they are mostly tail. So a 25 centimeter one of these guys, there are all the barbs are in the way now. Um, a 25 centimeter one of these guys will easily fit in a 60 centimeter tank because they are actually a little bit of fish with a lot of tail. Um, really good algae eaters, super peaceful. He's found some algae, he's a good fish. Um, yeah, really, really enjoyable to keep. Um, like a bristle nose, but long and narrow and very cool. Um, I also, in this tank somewhere, we have Peacock Gudgeon. There was one. Very nice fish. Look how small they are. They're about half the size of the barbs at the moment, so maybe about a oh, centimetre and a half. Um, but as I said before, they are one of the nicest little peaceful little fish you can get. Really, really cool fish. Anyway, that is that tank. God, they're nice. 
Um, let's jump to some more fish. There is a huge variety of blue neocaridina. Um, there are some really nice blues. There's some pale blues, dark blues, every type of blue imaginable. So they are the best ones to line breed because you can pick and choose what colored blues you want. And then yeah, keep, keep sort of breeding down that line. But how cool are some of those? Um, there's lots of other darker ones in that tank, but these ones just come out to be fed. Awesome, awesome shrimp. I still need to take more of these home too. <laughs> and we have the long fin cherry barbs. Um, haven't coloured up yet because they will take a little while to colour up, but look at the fins on them. Um, yeah, they are really nice. So obviously they are just a normal cherry barb with the long fin genetics to them. So I'm not too sure if that's recessive or dominant. You'd have to breed one with a normal one to find out. Um, but they are the same fish, just longer fins. There's a male just starting to colour up in the middle of the screen. Wow, they are also nice. I kind of want to take some of these home. I want to take every fish home. Um, <laughs> Can you tell I've been keeping fish for like 25, 30 years and I still like fish? Anyway, um, yeah, they are really, really nice. So um, reasonably priced, um, peaceful community fish, exactly the same as normal cherry barbs, just long fins. Um, someone needs to breed these with the albinos and make albino long fins. I'm pretty sure the albino um, gene is recessive. So you would get um, pets carrying the albino gene. They just need to breed two of them back together and you'll get a percentage of albinos but albino long fins would look really, really nice. Hopefully the genes are compatible. I don't think I've seen it before. Anyway, to moving on to the next awesome fish. Long fin albino Corydoras. So these ones will develop longer fins as they get bigger. These are only little guys, so probably about a third the actual size that they're going to get. Again, super peaceful little catfish, great for community tanks. Um, don't keep them with big fish because yeah, obviously big fish will try and eat them, um, but Anything from tetras to live bearers, stuff like that, gouramis, they will be perfectly fine. Um, they're not an algae eater, but they will rummage along the bottom and eat any uneaten food and little bits and pieces and stuff like that. They also won't eat plants, so they're really, really great little scavenger for community tanks. Obviously, you just need to feed them a bottom feeding pellet, uh, but they'll also eat frozen foods, live foods and flake food. But how pretty are they? So usually we have the common ones. I think we've got a whole big tank full of common ones at the moment but these are the long fin version. Again, really nice long fins. So if someone needs to set up a tank with just all long fin fish, that would look great. How cool is that male in the middle? Look, he's looking for worms. Did you get a worm? If he was an early bird, he'd get the worm. Ah, uh. Quick video of the hatchet fish. Unfortunately, they're not for sale because they did have ammonia poisoning in the bag. So only about half of them survived, unfortunately. Um, so when they get ammonia poisoning, that can damage their gills. So we're not gonna sell these for a week or so to make sure that they're okay and they're eating and all that. Um, yeah, so we will try again and get some more for people that are interested in them, but they are a really cool, peaceful tetra that hovers around the top of the water, as you can see there. Hopefully I'm not too blurred, but again, I'm filming on my phone. <laughs> Longfin Bronze Corridoris. Look at the tails on them. They are just gonna get bigger with age. So these are about a third grown. So they're gonna get around that sort of five to six centimeter sort of size. Again, super, super peaceful catfish. Um, they are really good at cleaning up sort of community tanks with smaller fish in that. Um, biggest fish you wanna keep them with are things like angelfish, but they're fine all the way down to like neon tetris and stuff like that. Um, again, with, this is the Longfin version. We have the common version as well. But how pretty are they? Um, they're just going to get nicer and nicer with age, but look how long some of those tails are. Um, yeah, really nice, peaceful community fish. Um, very cool. What else can you say? Everyone needs them. Um, they are schooling. Yes, so get a group of them. <laughs> um, three or more, ideally six, and they will go really, really well. Long lived as well. They'll live for, oh, at least 15, 20 years, all these little Corys. So they are a long lived Cory. How cool. really really need to take some of those cool fish home anyway if you like this video click the thumbs up if you want to see another video click that video there that is more unboxing um yeah thank you very much and we will see you in that video